it is time. It is time, ladies and gents. The final. <laughs> it's 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 still so hard to believe it. Like the final Smash character is going to be revealed in only just a few. Ladies and gentlemen, or whatever you prefer yourself as, final Smash character was going to be revealed. After nearly three long years, we've come to the end of this very long journey. It's been one hell of a journey. It's been one I've been really proud to be on. Honestly, which character am I rooting for? There's not really one I'm rooting for at the moment. I mean, I already got my pick. Like, I said I wanted Steve from Minecraft for the longest time. And I rode that horse for as long as possible. I would ride it until I would die. Many people doubted me. Many people... Mocked me. But I... Stood triumphant in the end. I was triumphant. I was victorious! Honestly, I think Steve is probably going to be the big one. Like... I don't know how else they're going to end this. Like, if they're going to have to end this, they're going to have to be bigger than Steve from Minecraft. And that's going to be really hard to do. Like, how do you add a character in that tops Steve? A character that literally broke Twitter. He literally broke Twitter. It doesn't get any more than that. The only thing I can see them probably that could really shatter everything is Jonesy from Fortnite or if they do a complete 180 and add in Waluigi or something. A lot of people are riding high on like Sora, Crash, Halo and so on and so forth and many other characters. I don't know which one to go with. I ho I'm wanting my boy Crash, I like Crash but at the same time I'm not really sticking with him but if he gets in I'll be really happy. I think the only character that would really blow everyone away would be would be Jonesy from Fortnite. Honestly, I kind of just want him to put be put in there because I know that would piss off a lot of people, and I just think think that'd be kind of funny. Just like this big, big final character, and it's fucking Fortnite. <laughs> oh, that would be that would be great. That would be tremendous. It's, it's it's starting it's all right it's it's yeah it's montage time of everything that has come before has all led to this one moment yeah oh -ha! Masahiro Sakasai, yes. Hello, hello, my friend. Finally here, the last five nights went for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. That said, each announcement has been for DLC rather than a full game, so we don't have a huge budget. <laughs> That's why I've been hosting these presentations myself. But this is the last one, so it's a bit sad. First, let me introduce the Mii Fighter costumes that will be added. Oh, they're going with the Mii Fighters, I see. Alright, I see you. I catch you drift. This is going to break a lot of people's dreams. If it's going to be certain characters, because then it's going to be like, oh great. Who, who's next? Who's left then? You know, see Master Chief has a Mii costume and it's like, boom, that's deconfirmed. Okay. The, um... Uh, Octo things. Oh no, Octo. The Octolings are not a fighter. Oh no. Oh is this going to be a Splatoon character? That's what. I, that's what, this is what's going to go through everyone's head at this point. It's like it's going to be a Splatoon character. Wait. 
Wait. <gasps> oh no! Doom guy was another contender. Oh, but he comes with a. Oh, he comes with a soundtrack. I think he comes with a soundtrack. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's. Sorry, guys. Sorry that there's no Doom for a fighter, but at least he's a car. At least he's a me costume. Does he come with a soundtrack? I thought he would. Well, well, that's that's uh, how the cookie grumbles, unfortunately. Who would have guessed Doom Slayer? Some fans also call him Doom Guy. He's from the series that originated the first-person shooter genre. Yeah, I heard it runs on any computer. Is that right? Release is scheduled for October 18th. Okay, so that means the character comes out until October 18th. Three and a half years have passed since the first reveal trailer in March 2018. Yeah. You go through, go from middle school to high school in that time. Development for Super... Yeah, that's the crazy thing and how long this has been going on since... March of 2018. That seems like eons ago, but damn. To see how far we've come from that little teaser, that little teaser, to be able to continuously provide. Yes, you have. You have. Anyway, this is the last one. Let me choose the final fighter to join the battle. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Mm. This is it. This is it. This is it. We're back here. Back where it all started. Don't stare into it too long, you'll probably go blind. the hell oh they're all um amiibos wow this is a really cool this is already really cool Imagine they do something crazy and reveal like five fighters all of a sudden and they're all separate characters. No fucking way. They did it. They did it. They did it, ladies and gents. And whatever you prefer yourself as. They did it. They added Sora from Kingdom Hearts into Smash Bros. Not as a me costume, nor anything like that. As a full ass fighter. Sora is finally here. Wow. Wow. Man, I can't believe they were able to actually score a deal with with Disney on that one. They even kept the Disney emblem on it, on like the the Mickey Mouse sort of um, thing on his uh, keyblade. It's a bit crazy. I wouldn't think they would do that. Wow. 
this is this is this is a good pick. This is a good pick to end on. I feel like this is a good pick to end on. It's easy to go with Super Smash Bros. Oh, the top choice for the most requested new fighter was Sora. When this ballot was happening, we spoke with Mr. Iwada, who was still with us then. Oh man. And we decided not to reveal the result. For the fighters at the top of the list, we thought that some people might demand them from the respective game companies. We believe that this w would cause some inconvenience. We're sorry that we could not reveal the results. But now, after a long time, we were able to connect it to the result we have today. Heaven Sora join was a huge undertaking, but one that everyone involved was excited to take on. Man. Didn't this get, like, leaked? I remember seeing stuff how, like, there was leaks or something, and I didn't think, didn't want to believe it, but, like, I guess it's a bit true. Wow, there's going to be a lot of people that are so happy for this. A lot of Kingdom Hearts fans are rejoicing. A lot of, a lot of Smash fans are rejoicing. Wow. Holy hell. That's cool that they implemented a bunch of, uh, bunch of, a uh, bunch of uh, costumes from other games. And all the other four are. They're probably just colours. You know, like, probably just red, blue, green, and yellow, whatever. Oh, that is a good one. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Okay, that's that's probably gonna be my favorite one. I'm just such, I'm I'm a huge sucker for like, you know, old like 1930s rubber hose cartoon animation. I'm just a bit of a, I'm a real sucker for that kind of stuff. Whoa. <laughs> So Sakurai's idea for, so, for for the final character in Smash Bros is let's just make him the most overpowered fighter. <laughs> I wonder how many people are going to be mad at that Saw is just another like anime sword fighter. You know someone's going to go out there and start tweeting all that all that shit and it's like give me the anime sword fighter for the final character of the DLC pack. There seems to be a repeating theme here. <laughs> Could be magic. Ooh. Three in one move, eh? Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. That is actually kind of cool. Sakurai's just doing a combo, like, um, showcase. You know, there's, like, combo showcase videos on how to do combos with characters. That's essentially what this is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, you've, you've probably just made one of the best recoveries in the game oh my god i i've never played a kingdom hearts game i should probably tell that but i have i've seen a uh, gameplay of it and the whole uh flying around zoning in on, a, on a, an opponents and attacking them i've seen that and it's really cool to see that he's was able to find a way to actually implement that into smash bros it always just amazes me he implements these weird gameplay mechanics that you wouldn't think would work, but they somehow do work. And they work really well. It was like the same thing with like Steve, like the block things. Like, how would that work? But he found a way. He found a way to incorporate Minecraft's gameplay and make it work. Okay. Okay, yeah, we've been seeing this a lot. Oh, it's as in it's the same, but you don't. But when you do it, you don't. 
If you do it on the ground, you won't stay on the ground. You just go up. All right. It's enough difference. <laughs> it's a, It's just a, It's just enough where it, it's not. You know. It's uh, looking a bit suspicious. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. What if you? Oh my god, Sora Sora probably is the character with the best recovery in the game. He's Okay, he has no, he 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 has the best recovery. He is the best when it comes to Oh my god, he's he's, he's he, he doesn't matter how far he goes away from the stage because he just always just get back. You don't have to worry about you know, going too far or, you know, worrying that you might fall off. No, because he will just come back like that. <laughs> I, he, he, he is probably got the best recovery out of any character. Like, Kirby, I think is a good recovery because he can, he can sort of like flutter through the air for a really long while. And King K. Rool, and there's many other characters out there with really good recoveries. But this is ridiculous. This is full bone ridiculous. Okay, standard counter. Okay, so you can. So it's only from in front, from the front, not behind. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. So he does. He can't deflect it back towards you, per se. But yeah, if you had someone behind you, that would be really handy. Oh my God! What if you're in a team battle? Like, imagine if you're in a team battle, and you got and it's and it's like one v two, and you got one guy behind you and one guy in front of you. They throw a really powerful projectile. You deflect it, and it goes to the guy behind you. Would that count as your attack? And, you know, since, like, they're, like, really high percent or whatever, they would be killed. I'm just I'm just saying the possibility of that happening. Ooh. Oh, wow, you ripped this straight from the, from the PS2, didn't you? <laughs> oh, this is actually really cool. Kind of makes you want to play Kingdom Hearts now. I never got into it. Not because I didn't think the gameplay is boring. I think it actually looks really interesting. It's just the bloody lore and the story of the game which just seems so... It's just so infuriating. It's like... I feel like if I go... If I just read the first, like, page or whatever of the Kingdom Hearts lore, I'll get a bloody migraine. Oh, it can transform. Well. Wow. That is actually really cool. Yeah, that's actually a good chunk. Considering that the majority of Kingdom Hearts music is, well, like Disney music, so. They still had to pull in whatever they could. But they did, uh. They got. A good selection. Man, this is still weird. I still am shocked that they actually did it. Wow. What a, that is one hell of a liner. Oh. Oh. Yep. That <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. He just, just, just stands there. Oh, that's great. That's the, that's the best. Yep, Alex. Is there going to be a zombie in Enderman? Come on, let's bring in an Enderman. 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 Dark. The emotes shown here are played for plant for release. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they'll get amiibo. And then Sora will get an amiibo. Here's something we learned going to Discord. Ooh, what's that? <gasps> oh my god! 
I like how they were able to score a deal with bloody Disney to move the get, to get the Kingdom Hearts games on the Nintendo Switch, but they couldn't get a deal with like bloody um um for, I, I can't remember the company's name, but they couldn't get a deal to get the Persona games on the Switch. I'm just saying, like they they scored. They actually were able to score a deal with Disney and um, not pers uh, pers the Persona developers. F that the, Their game company name is blanking me at the moment. Uh, I, don't, I can't remember. Atlas. Yeah, Atlas. Atlas couldn't get Persona on the Switch, but they could get... Um, Kingdom Hearts on the Switch. These states will be announced at a later time, so please be patient. Alright. Guess this is a goodbye then. Yep. Here it is. Yep. There is Sora. Wow, that is... Just, take, just taking that entire image is just... So surreal. Yep. Last. Yep. This is the end. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll finally get to rest. Nice. Yeah, just uh, got to flex, flex my muscles a bit. That's what it, what it is. Just flex the fact I beat the entire game. <laughs> I mean, these achievements as in what they've accomplished making Smash. Doi. Okay, that's a lot. Yep, I, call, I told you, over a thousand songs. <laughs> that's... Wow. 450. Wow. There's a lot more in this game than you really think, don't it? Ain't there? Yep. Oh. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, like, I don't want to hear anyone moaning. This is him telling anyone you can't bitch or moan and that the final character wasn't the one you wanted. Because I've already done so much already. Appreciate what you have. Appreciate what you have and not, and not what you want. Alright? Yep. Well, this is a special message. Yeah. Ah. Uh, man. Bye, Sakurai. Jesus, this is so surreal. This is actually the end of it. It's the end of it. Wow. I am blown away. I don't have many words. But I will say that I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with what we've got. And I think a lot of people will also be very happy with this pick. You know, that's sort of the, the, the thing that this, that this final character had, final DLC slot had, was that you needed something that would make people happy. And I think this is really going to make a lot of people happy. Is it going to make everyone happy? No, you can't satisfy everyone. But I think it'll definitely make the majority happy. Uh, and I think a lot of Smash fans, Kingdom Hearts fans, and so on and so forth. We'll definitely rejoice in this moment. So, yep. And um, if you're a bit upset that a character that you wanted to get in, you wanted in Smash Bros to be a playable fighter, didn't get in, it's fine to be upset, but don't 
whinge, whinge or cry about it on Twitter and such. Don't like send death threats or whatever to Sakurai. Like, don't don't do that stuff. Like you can be a bit annoyed that oh there's this character, but at the same time just be like eh. I didn't get my pick, but everyone else got their pick as well. Like there's always next time. Like I highly doubt this will be the last Smash Bros. game. Though they'll probably make another one like not until probably a really long time. Like until like the next Nintendo console they make. But um Yeah. This is um Can't wait to play Sora, that's for sure. Expect a video on that at some point in the future. Anyway, um, make sure to do the, all the usual stuff that people tell you at the end of these videos. You know, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, blah blah blah. You know the drill at this point. Come on, we've, we've all been on YouTube for this long to know what you got to do. You know, ring the bell, yada yada yada. Because uh, I'm really looking forward to be playing Smash Bros and making a lot of Smash Bros content on this uh, channel. And I've been really meaning to for a while, so look forward for that. Anyway, catch you all later. Peace.